hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far in the optoelectronics uh, devices and systems in our discussion we have covered uh, some of the basic introductory concepts and uh, we have also discussed about the uh, the basic optical communication system and we have also discussed about the optical fibers some basic concepts basic structural concepts classification of optical fibers ray propagation how light ray propagates in optical fibers through multiple total internal reflections so in this video we are going to discuss about another uh, important aspect related to optical fiber communication which is attenuation and amplification so uh, if you remember in the uh, optical uh, communication system while discussing that uh, we discussed that uh, the optical fibers as uh, light travels within the optical fibers because of various uh, reasons it can be from the manufacturing point of view or uh, the weather or anything uh, the environmental conditions the surrounding the place where it is installed because of various uh, reasons the signal strength it decreases as the light or the the light ray travels and covers distance so in order to avoid that not actually avoid that but uh, to compensate for that we have to figure out a way so that we can recover the lost energy the lost uh, strength in the signal in simple words so this video is all about that some basic concepts related to that okay so this is the basic block diagram of the optical communication system so attenuation and amplification so attenuation is the reduction in signal strength or uh, signal energy as the signal it travels from one point to the other it is not just for optical communication for any communication system okay any type of attenuation happens reduction in signal strength happens so that is the definition of attenuation and amplification is the process of increasing the signal strength by some way okay so amplification is done to compensate for attenuation the lost energy the signal strength which is which happens during attenuation now attenuation in optical fiber communications so uh, as the light signal it travels within the optical fiber as i said because of various reasons be it uh, the manufacturing defects or the natural occurring phenomena weather conditions surroundings or anything for various reasons uh, the signal strength it decreases as the distance traveled by the signal becomes more and more so there are various reasons for example various losses happen such as absorption loss scattering loss material defect loss or impurities loss bending loss there are other uh, loss mechanisms also we'll discuss them in a separate video so because of that there is a reduction in the signal amplitude the signal strength so we know that as the energy of the signal goes down the coverage area okay the distance that the signal can cover further that also drops significantly so we have to come up with a way to compensate for the lost energy so that the signal can recover the lost energy so that it can cover the remaining distance up to the destination so because of this this repeater the optical amplifiers they are used and uh, they are not just uh, there is not just one repeater this is just a block diagram representation there are many repeaters that are placed at regular intervals at fixed points in between the source and the destination 
to compensate for the loss lost energy in order to amplify the light signals for example let us say the distance between the source and the destination is let's say uh, 1000 km let's say so it is up to the uh, you know where to place the repeaters okay F the fixed in uh, places at fixed points it can be at every 100 km an optical uh, repeater can be used or at uh, every uh 250 kilometers it can be placed or at 500 kilometers it can be placed so it depends okay uh on the nature of the communication the characteristics of the signal and uh the optical fiber quality so all of that comes into play so the basic reason of using repeaters or optical uh, amplifiers is to uh amplify the signal so that they can recover the lost energy so let's say we have uh, a basic uh, line of communication between point 1 to point 3 source to destination so here we have is the original signal amplitude value is this much now as it travels from 1 to 2 there is a reduction in the signal strength the signal amplitude decreases so in between 2 and 3 an optical amplifier or repeater is used so amplification takes place and at the output at this point 3 we have the amplified signal so the lost signal strength is compensated is recovered we have the amplified signal so let's say uh um, at this point 3 we have at the initial energy whatever it is as it reaches light signal it uh, starts from 1 and reaches to the signal strength it reduces by minus 7 decibel so decibel is the unit which we will be using for the power representation of the light signal so as it travels from 1 to 2 its signal strength drops or the power it drops by minus 7 db so in between point 2 and 3 we have a optical amplifier so it gives it a boost or an increase in signal strength by plus 16 db okay now so the net increase here is plus 16 db minus 7 db which is 9 db plus 9 db in the positive now as the again the light signal it travels from 3 to 4 again there will be loss now here the loss is plus 9 db minus 5 db which is 4 db now if we take this optical amplifier out of the picture if we do not use optical amplifier the power loss would be much 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 larger you know here we have a positive plus 4 db at the output at this final point if we do not use this optical amplifier it would have been in the negative okay the power loss would have been in the negative it is only because of this optical amplifier we get a boost of plus 16 db that's why it compensated for these signal losses minus 7 db minus 5 db which is minus 12 plus 16 so we have a positive power output plus 4 db so if we do not use this optical amplifier then uh, let's say here there would have been a loss of let's say minus 8 db then it would have been minus 20 db at the output power loss so only because of this optical amplifier we have a plus 4 db at the output plus 4 db is a reference which is the power at the input plus 4 db okay so the decibel unit representation of power so this is the, the decibel unit or db is a, a standard and convenient method for the measurement of attenuation and amplification of uh, power Uh, in the optical communication system so here why it uh, the decibel unit is used because it has been found that in optical fiber channels to fiber optics as signal travels the reduction in the strength it happens exponentially okay so because of that the logarithmic 
uh, unit is used power ratio is used so that is measured in decibel so the mathematical representation of that is let us say we have a fiber channel p1 is uh, at one point or let's say it's the input side p2 is the output side so the power ratio will be the ratio between in, uh, in general we will just calculate the output by input ratio but here as logarithmic unit is used so we represent the power ratio in db as 10 log power output which is p2 divided by power input p1 okay so this is the mathematical representation another possible uh, way is to represent it in decibel meters so the logarithmic power ratio as i said it gives us a relative indication here i did not use how much power there was in point one i have not uh, said that i just said whatever power there was at point one we got a loss of minus 7 db from that let's say the power at uh, point one was let's say 50 db so at point two there will be a loss of minus 7 db and at point two it will be plus 43 db okay so that this decibel it gives us a relative indication of power okay in order to get an absolute idea of uh, how much uh, attenuation or amplification happens the decibel meter unit is used so the power level in decibel meter is represented as 10 log power in milliwatts by 1 milliwatt that is the representation the output will be the unit will be decibel meter so here one milliwatt that is zero decibel meter okay now you know that in logarithmic scale log one is zero you know that so in that way one milli um, milliwatt that stands for zero decibel meter okay so these are some of the basic concepts related to attenuation and amplification in optical fiber communication systems and the representations of uh, attenuation and amplification power. So we'll discuss them in detail in the upcoming videos. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.